Hi guys, welcome to or back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I made this lovely hexagon sweater with lots of textures and different yarns. And yeah. So this is all the yarn that I am planning on using. As you can see, it's going to be more of a like purpley blue color, but I did throw in a couple like this fuzzy pink that I can maybe do like one little row of. And then this I got from a friend and it is such a funky yarn. I posted it on Reddit and somebody told me that this yarn belongs in the trash, but that was honestly just inspiration to just keep using it. So I'm going to keep using it. Um, I've got this weird like crinkly yarn. Ignore the lipstick on my hand, but weird crinkly yarn. Um, you guys can see it here. But yeah, so I threw in a couple blues just because I've got, this is not even enough for a project, right? Like just make it a scrappy sweater. This I've been dying to use, so I'm gonna use it with this. I still need to kind of figure out how. I'm just gonna crochet with it normally, but you can see it's got like a fanned bit and then a fluffy bit. Um, this is a pretty reflective one. It's kind of weird. So maybe a single one of this. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling excited about this project. I think it's gonna be good. So this is what I have so far. Um, I have used this blue, this purple, um, that funky crinkly yarn, and then this pretty like lavender lilac color. And what you do is you work in with the granny square stitch, so like clusters of three double crochets, but instead of doing it four times to make a square, you do it six times to make a hexagon. And then just continue with the normal granny square pattern of doing it in every space. And what I do is I do one chain in the corner but in between each cluster on the flat parts, I actually don't chain one because I feel like that makes the holes a bit bigger than I personally like. And because this is going to be folding over, let me figure out the way that it actually folds. <laughs> like this, it'll make a little thing. So this will think this is the sleeve, this is the body, if that makes sense. It'll look better once it's bigger. So update, this is what I have so far. And what I'm doing with this ladder yarn, this like funky pink yarn, what I'm doing is I'm pairing it up with a pink yarn um, of a thicker weight and just going ahead and crocheting with both of those stranded together. I'm not sure how I feel about the look. Um, I'm hoping maybe it'll have like a bit of a reflective look, just a little bit. Um, but with this one, this yarn, I couldn't crochet with it because it was just way too thick like this part was. So what I did is I crocheted over it. So the first stitch in every cluster of three, I crocheted over it and then let it hang down. Um, and I did that around the piece. So I've got like a little fluffy bit, I'm gonna have a little shiny bit, and then that is the rest of the ones that I have. I pulled out a lot more because I realized that this is really going to be a stash busting project for sure. Um, and any colors that I want to use, I really can use. So, yeah. because I think that this is really cool. Um, so what I did is I've been trying to add some texture to it, um, just so it's like, just so it's fun, you know? And I was gifted this really weird yarn that's got like webbing and then some glittery bits at the top. I'm gonna be totally honest, I had zero clue what to do with it. So what I'm doing is I'm crocheting over the webby bit and leaving the glittery bit to kind of hang down. I'm loving it. Like, look at, 
I added it so it's a little bit roughly and I'm gonna do it all the way around but with the chunky and frayed bits you know a couple rows beforehand I think it's gonna come out really cool so I'm excited for it all right so we have the first half of my sweater done and I am just in love with it I absolutely love it um, I'm really loving this border with the bright blue I loving the different textures so we got like this really fuzzy pink we've got this frilly I don't even know what to call this it's just like webbed yarn I guess with some lace bits at the end um, got of course this funky one and all the different colors with it um, I'm just really excited for this I think what I'm gonna do is cuff the ends and maybe make like a long cuff like I have seen with these just because bunching it will make I don't know I think it'll look cute I love a good balloon sleeve so yeah, that's the first half and I will keep you all updated as I do the second half. I just have to show you guys this really cool ruffle that I'm making right now. I'm absolutely in love with it. I love the little sequins that catch the light and it's got this little fluffy bit at the end. It's different than this one because um, this had webbing and then it's got the shiny part but this is pretty much all webbing and then it's got just a little bit of the fluffy bit at the end. So I'm really loving it. I'm making the second half now. Um, yeah, so I'm excited for it. So I have both halves finished now. You can see the different textures in here with the ruffles and then these bits. So what I'm gonna do now is slip stitch up the front and the back and then the top over there but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna stop about like right here and then stop maybe right here that way it actually folds in and then i will have a sweater instead of a cardigan okay so i was bad and didn't finish filming the cuffs and the assembly but it is finally done and I am so excited about it. So with the cuffs, what I did is I did a chain up and then single crocheted back down and then would like skip a couple stitches and then go back up, come back down and repeat that. So it brought it in from the big sleeve that it was. And then I did a similar thing with this, only a bit, just so it also made that kind of balloony um effect down here and then i just slip stitched all the way down um to make like a clean look for the seams and i decided to go with the purple so it would match the cuffs because there's already so many colors it didn't matter if this was blue or not but yeah and then i made this have a little bit of an opening um just with pulling this down so it's got like a cute little cute little thing going on up top yeah I am absolutely in love with all the colors I am just very happy with this project so here is the finished product I am super excited with how it came out with all the different fun colors and textures and the fit if you guys are interested in following along on my other projects, feel free to subscribe and follow along on Instagram and TikTok. I will see you next time.